All right, it's March 4th, 2023. My name's Timothy French. We're in Youngsville, North Carolina to continue on a quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here at Cowboy Clippers, Cowboys Clippers, classic men's barbershop established in 2009. Yeah, got him a house. That's cool. Looks like another barber right beside him for competition. That's always good. Yeah, they're doing a lot of work in this little town. I wasn't expecting it to be too big, but it is. Yeah, sportsman clippers right here. So you got your choice. Got nutrition on Main here in Youngsville. Nice little shop in town. <clears throat> yeah, the town was main, named after a man named Jack Young, I believe. Before that, it was called Pacifica or something like that. We got a pet spa right there. Pacifica. Not sure. And then, of course, got the train come through town here. Got Brazil and Blowout right here. Hair Swan. The men and women got their choice there. Yeah, we got to come soon. The Welsh Candle Shop's going to be in there. So, Youngsville is picking up, getting ready for all the people that's moving into town around Raleigh, North Carolina. <clears throat> Not far from Wake Forest. We just did that earlier. That's a beautiful town there. So if they do their streets like they did uh, down there in Wake Forest, it's going to be nice. I saw this line coming in. I said, what's going on? Somebody have a wreck? Oh, there's a little tiny shack. I don't know if you can see it over here. It's a, it sells coffee. And you know how people are these days. Oh, Lord, if you have to get out of your car to go get the coffee. Now, they'll sit there and let them engines run. <laughs> go get that coffee in that drive through <laughs> They're all probably environmentalists, too. <laughs> uh, it's tempted to sit in there and go through these drive throughs No doubt about that. Not me. I like to get out and walk around. So here's the tracks we just crossed. See if I don't get run over until I get back up here on the sidewalk. Yeah, here's a Youngsville. Realty down there, if you want to buy a house, you might buy one of them big old colonial looking houses out there, that's nice. <clears throat> Need some paint on their rail here, but every, as you can see, everything's getting worked on. They got these brick sidewalks, that's nice. Got a ghost mule here. Youngsville Milling Company. It's the real thing, Coke below it, so it looks like it's had a couple like a Coca-Cola sign below the name of the C place there. You got the hair vault. Another salon, man. Big one too. Good money in that business. Yeah, got a little place in between the buildings here. Some little snowy looking trees. Here at Carolina Insurance. There's a look at the other side as we go along. Got Carolina Hemp Company over there. <clears throat> yeah, they're putting in curves and all. This old building here looks cool. Hershey's ice cream, scoops on main. Uh-oh, can't go, can't go. They got me blocked off. Well, I guess they want me to go out here in the road and get run over. But y'all been watching my videos a while, you know I don't mind playing Frogger. <laughs> Got a deli and cafe there, still on good Main Street Village. Nice place to eat in there, it looks like. People are in there today. Got some parking here, I guess that'll be paved sooner or later. On the left, we got the Tin Pig Vendor Village. Here's their sign talking about downtown improvements, improved traffic flow, better walkability. Downtown beautification completion target this summer. So that's cool. I think they're gonna get it done. Let's walk on up a little further. We might come check them shops on a little walk back. You can see outdoor seating. Everybody's got the right idea. <clears throat> People don't want to sit at home and shop online. They want to come out and with the friends and shop these little stores. Stop and get them a bite to eat or drink. And uh, I like the uniqueness of these small historic downtown centers. At least I do. 
design studio here. Got Main Street service, Main Street service station. It's probably here a long time. They're still using that building. That's good. That's some kind of restaurant right here, but I don't see the name. I'm gonna walk right by it. I think it's a restaurant because I saw seating on the other side of the building. It could be just okay. It's just a design studio. Okay. So much for what I know. <laughs> yeah, they still do towing. Got an old pump here, Ronnie White's Main Street Service Station. They don't sell gas anymore. Huh. <clears throat> There's a little little church on out that way. You can see some old houses there. And that cross main. They're gonna. They working on that one too. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna say. From those flowers on the door, it might be some kind of event center. I am not sure. Let me get on across by the lights here. <clears throat> cross. Man, I, I gotta go across. <laughs> gotta go across Main. Something. Southern charm. Winslow room. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that event center type deal. Yeah, that used to be the corner grocery over there, sell meats and seafood. Every time you used to have a little grocery like that. Oh man, look at that house there. Nice house was in town. Just want to give you a little look. There's another barber shop. They fixing up another building there. All right, the leaves are getting blown by the wind this morning, but it's, it feels good. Love it. So here it is. It's the flooring place now. But that would be where you come and got all your groceries at one time. Every town kind of needs a little local grocery. Hey, something happens to the big boys and they pull out. <laughs> Need your local farmers, local dairy, local ranchers. Anything you can do to get your resources local, that's a good thing. Because you'll be secured if something happens nationwide. Case your supplies, applying some pairs in there. Yeah, you got to be able to navigate and jump around while they're working on the place, but they're getting there. Youngsville Animal, Animal Hospital right here. There's a Winslow's home design that I thought was a restaurant. Archer and Pratt. I don't know what they do. All right. Simply Ur Urban for Fosters Candles and Gifts. And they got space available. So yeah, they done come in here. It looks like a newer building, but it matches pretty good, so I ain't gonna say nothing about it. They've done a good job of trying to blend in. And if it is older buildings, they did a good time, good job fixing them up. There's Mary and Company. Yeah. Big old building down there with the green on it. it must be the hemp store, I bet. <laughs> I can't be sure though. But I'm not walking down there to find out. Y'all tell me. I ain't sure. Hope I didn't get it wrong. Here at Vendor Village, you can get Savage, Silhouette, Buttermilk Junction, Lola's, Vintage Wares, Robbins, Roost, Owls, Roost, they all in there. Tin Pig, Vendor Village. So yeah, I think you can rent you a spot in there. That looks like it'd be fun. Yeah, Pamela like that. Have to bring her back, she's not with me today. All right. Let's turn. <laughs> yeah, pig. Must have lit up during Christmas there. Oh, there's Carolina Hip down there, so I got that wrong, I guess. All right. I don't know what that was down there. That was your business with the green sign down on the end. Time up and let us know what you are. Sorry I didn't go down there. Yeah. There's Carolina Hip right there, bringing balance through hemp. There's the ice cream place over there. And there's that cafe. This is a cool little town here. 
all the way around Youngsville, North Carolina. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour. If you did, I appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.